My people on that shall never end. Oh, they said, Olori Mariam have sent a serious warning message to Lide Badmus, telling Lide Badmus to stay away from her husband. According to her, she said she can share her husband with any other person, but not Lide Badmus. <laughs> when I hear this, I was just laughing. I said, now wow, now wow. So people to do, eat me, you to do. Shabina, you snatched Kabiesi from Lide Badmus. Now you don't want better bad moves to be seen with your husband. Are you not joking? Eh? You are dreaming, you no? Know? See, eh? I don't know why some people, eh? They don't like to use the same cup they used to measure for others. They don't want people to use that same cup for them. And why? Why? That is because the cup is not good for people. And you are using it for them. You snatch Kwenami's husband. Not only that, though, you snatched uh, like the bad most boyfriend. And now they reconnected. You are warning her to stay away from your husband. Are you not a joker? You are a joker, oh, seriously. <laughs> they said uh, she sent this message to Lide because from what we are hearing right now, they said uh, KBS have included like the bad most amongst the new wives that he will be bringing in. And I asked, why is it that KBC love old people? Where, where? Because this Lider bad most in question will be almost the same age with the uh, Igbi. If not, it may be, that is if she is not older than Igbi. You. But anyways, that is uh, his choice. He wants to gift himself, Lide and some other women on his 50th birthday, which will be happening this month. So, uh, we heard that uh, Igbi sent uh, that message telling Lady Badmos to stay away from her husband, that she will go extra mile to fight her to make sure that she did not enter this uh, palace, that uh, she should wake up from her dream thinking that she is going to fold her arms and watch Kabiesi bring her in as an olori in the house. <laughs> They said, uh, Lide read that message. After reading it, he sent it to, she sent it to Kabesi, telling Kabesi, see you. And they said, Lide is trying everything, as in she is working extra hard. As in when I said extra hard, she's been over good to Kabesi, just to make sure that Kabesi included her. And if you guys know, there was a time we heard that Kabesi proposed to Lide after marrying uh, Igbi, Lide refused. And you know that Kabiesi likes to conquer women. When you say, I don't want again, Kabiesi will do everything to make sure that you want, just to tell you, to, just to prove to you that uh, he wins. And that is why I say that Kabiesi sometimes behaves like, mm -mm, I will not say so. <laughs> Anyways, so now, uh, Igbi is complaining. And like, they say, like, they laugh. She laughs, eh? And when she sent a message to uh, Kabiesi, Kabiesi told her not to mind uh, Igbi. That Igbi does not have any right to tell her who to marry or who not to marry. Because before now, we have heard that Igbi have gone to Kabiesi. Igbi begged Kabiesi, begged Kabiesi. When the begging was not working, they say Igbi changed it for Kabiesi. Telling Kabiesi that, look, I am going to make this palace a living hell for you if you ever bring Lide Badmus in here. But information have been that Lide is even worse than uh, Igbi, you know, but uh, she doesn't find look for trouble, you know. So, they say Igbi told Kabir that she is going to make her, his palace a living hell for him, that he can go ahead and marry as many wives as possible, even if he like, let him empty all the women in Ileife Kingdom and its uh, surroundings, but let it not be lied, you know. And I was like, why? Why? Kabiesi have the right to marry anybody that he wants to marry now. You don't have any right to tell Kabiesi or to, to choose for Kabiesi who to marry or who not to marry. But they say, like they have told Igbi, you better respect yourself. Oh. If you better respect yourself. But we do know that Lide will lie low now until finally he will succeed and enter the palace. Woo! Then, <laughs> this story will change di di direction and be dimension. <laughs> I told you guys that this uh, KBSC story is not ending anytime soon because 
every day they are bringing out new series episode one from episode one sometimes it will reach like episode 100 then when you think that it is about to end they'll bring out another series that is how the story is like <laughs> Hey, even not only uh, like the bad moon, so they say Abike Jagaban self is also among the list. And uh, this um, uh, surrogate mom, the one that actually brought to the palace some time ago. But let me tell you the truth. Eh? Kaviesi is just a drama king. Oh. Because if not, you should know as a man that when you bring in two enemies, because... By the time uh, uh, Igbi snatched Kabiesi from Laide, they have become enemies. Yes, Laide will never like Igbi again. And when you bring in such people, the two of them, into, the, into your home, you are just looking for problems because they will give you problems. You, don't, you will not even have peace of mind. And I think any man who wants peace in his life will not want to make such mistake. Okay, look at this case of uh, Ashley and the surrogate mom. Yes, Ashley brought in a surrogate mom, not knowing that the surrogate mom was planning something to snatch Kabyas or to be Kabyas's wife. And you know that Ashley will not take it because that is not their initial plan. Okay, when that did not work again, now Kabyas is planning to go and marry the same person. Don't you know that he's just trying to create enmity between these women? Ashley and the surrogate man will not be in good time. Uh, Lide and the Igbi will always be quarreling. Uh, this person and that person. Ah! Kabiesio! Hmm. Very soon you'll be hearing that the Palace of Uni of Ife have turned to Palace of Commotion. Commotion, serious one. But the, the, the fact remains that Igbi, Igbi have some God, so seriously. Because I don't see the reason why she will summon the courage to send message to Lide, knowing that it will not yield any fruit. Because you cannot tell me that she will be able to scare Lide not to continue with whatever she was doing with the KBS. It's something they were doing before you even came into the picture. As a matter of fact, Igbi is the betrayer here. Because she is the one who betrayed Lide. If, if only Lide knew the kind of person that Igbi is, she wouldn't have introduced Igbi to KBS. But she did, and Igbi went behind her back to snatch KBS. And when she even confronted her, she denied it until the marriage thing happened. So, at this point, I think Igbi should go and rest. She should just go and hide. Because by the time Lide comes in, they see this first wife issue that is entering her head. Lide will suppress her. Lide will even bench her. Anyway, let's just watch and see. Because they say Lide is her match. That is if Lide is not even bigger than her in that game. Hi! Kabi is we are not sure. No, it's hurting. Anyway, guys, that is what we are hearing. Don't forget that these are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share my video. I love you guys. Bye. See you.